Hey, what's up, YouTube? Crazy Katie and Six here again. Um, I'm gonna do another beer review. This one's uh, pretty quick. Posted again. I just figured I'd do a couple back to back. Um, today I have a beer that actually, uh, in my last review, I said you know Rickards Red maybe wasn't worthy of a review. Well, I definitely think this beer is definitely worth a review. Um, what I have for you guys here today is what it's called is Chimay, um, and it's their triple, and it's a Trappist beer. Um, I was calling it Chimay, um, obviously, but if you uh, yeah, if you pronounce it correctly, it's called Chimay. Um, yeah, just to give you a bit of a backstory on um, Trappist Ales, um, I know for a fact that um, I was watching a thing about Chimay and their brewery, and I'm going to post a link uh, in the underbar as well. Um, just basically, it shows the monks at the monastery, how they brew the beer, um, <clears throat> how they've done it throughout the ages, but, you know, how they've moved into, you know, state-of-the-art technology, but still have kept it within their monastery. Um, so what they said, basically, is, if I'm correct, is that they can only um, label a beer, a Trappist beer, if it was brewed by, you know, monks within a monastery. Um, so basically they said that um, five brands of beer um, are only deemed Trappist ales, this being one of them. Um, so yeah, and again, I, it'll explain it a lot better in the uh, documentary. It's, it's only like a few minutes long if you want to watch it. I'll post a link for that in the uh, underbar. And uh, it, it's actually quite interesting. I liked it. Um, so anyway, just getting back to this beer and um, what it's all about. Um, I'll just read you what it says on the back. Um, it says that the Trappist logo certifies that this ale was brewed within the walls of an existing Trappist monastery under the control of the Trappist community. A major part of the sales revenue is used to monk by monks to support the char charitable works. The flavor of Chimay Triple comes from the aroma of fresh hops and yeast. Um, just my experience with this beer, I've had it before um, once or twice and I really enjoyed it. Um, this is really the only um, variation of the brand that I can get. Um, there was a red one as well, but um, it was in much larger bottles with the cork, and I know there's a name for that bottle. Um, if someone knows, post in the comments. But um, yeah, other than that, I know that they do the red version, like I was saying, as well as um, it's, it's a blue label, and I think it's, it's a strong or a darker one. Um, but anyway, this is 8% um, alcohol by volume. Um, the bottle itself is 330 milliliters, um, and we'll get right into it. I'm going to open it up, and uh, we'll pour it and go through the routine. <clears throat> so there seems to be quite a bit of carbonation, just from what I can tell just by opening it. Um, I'm going to pour it into a, it's kind of like an oversized wine glass, but um, I felt it was kind of the uh, best, uh, best medium for this type of uh, beer. <clears throat> anyway, here we go. So I'm not going to pour it all out just so I can, you know, swirl it and get a really good smell and everything. But, um, yeah, just looking at it real closely, like, it, um, there is a lot of carbonation was what kind of what surprises me. Um, when you look at it, it's, when you hold it up to the light there, it's, it's definitely not see-through, it's definitely dark, but at the same time it holds kind of an orangey kind of tinge to it. Um, yeah, in terms of the head as well, it, uh, it definitely isn't thick, um, and yeah, it's, it doesn't look like it's going to hold much of a head as well. Um, so yeah, I'll get into the smell of it. Yeah, so right up front, I mean, you're kind of hit with um, the alcohol, um, but it slowly kind of fades away to um, a very sweet kind of fruity smell. Um, I'd liken it kind of to like a lemony zest, so to speak. Um, as well, it's 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 you can you can smell the bitterness. I know it's it's going to be like a really bitter beer, um, at least for my standards. And yeah, I, I, just by smelling it, I, I can tell it's it's definitely going to have a, a very fruity taste to it. So anyway, I'll get right into the taste. Yeah, so yeah, again, like just like it kind of said in the smell, the first thing that really hits me is the alcohol, but it, 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 it's, <clears throat> it fades very quickly, like you, you first, you know, you taste that you're going to be drinking a strong beer, but it fades away more into the sweetness, and in the mouth it's very light, 
Um, I found it had a very light mouse feel, and overall it just, it really didn't, um, it, and it's kind of just fading away to a bitterness. So, I, again, with this beer, I mean, I think it's, um, it's great, it's, it's a great Trappist, but at the same time, I, it's not, um, it's not the best. And, um, I'm not claiming it to be the best, but I think that it's, uh, it's definitely, uh, worth the try. And, uh, I'll give it one more taste here. Yeah, so again, I just, yeah, like what I said, it was just basically the alcohol right up front. Um, then it fades away into the sweetness, kind of the maltiness of it. And then it just kind of fades away into like a really hoppy bitterness. So, overall, if I was to rate this beer, um, I'd give it probably uh, 37 to, uh, I'd probably give it, yeah, 38, 39 out of 50. Um, I like, I enjoy it quite a bit, but like I said, in terms of what the uh, Trappist beers are like, I've, I've had better. And um, just, I kind of, yeah, I might be a little biased that way. I'm kind of comparing it to other beers. But, um, yeah, that'd be my overall recommendation with this beer, is I'd say I'd give it, yeah, I'll give it a 38 out of 50. And, yeah, that's about it. So, I have a few more other beers that I was just going to show you real quick that I was thinking about reviewing. Um, I have this one I picked up as well. Now, this is uh, Duval, and what it is claiming to be is a Belgian specialty strong beer. And, um, yeah, I was thinking about doing this one as well. I haven't really drank it before, much less I haven't really looked up anything about it. I just picked it up. So it was just something I was thinking of reviewing, but um, I'll decide whether or not I'm going to include it on my channel. Um, yeah, that was just the other one I was thinking about doing, as well as the uh, half a Weissen that I was showing in the last video. Um, other than that, that's about it, guys. Um, I was going to recommend a song. It's kind of slipping my mind like the last time. But, um, oh yeah, it was Stone Temple Pilots, and it's called Sour Girl. So I'll put that in the down under bar as well. And other than that, have a great day, all you beer drinkers, liquor drinkers, and crazy Canadians. Take care.